What up? It's your boy Gamers Paradise here, and we are doing the romance option for Makoto Part 1. So let's go ahead and get this done and enjoy the show. Huh. How about you come to our club and we show you a good time? Yeah. You got money though. Oh, okay. oh, hell, I'm in the wrong place. Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, do you know Sakasa? Sakasa? Bastard. You're a friend of his? So you know him. He's using the sake bottle trick. Let me think. Let me make it clear for you. Get that girl out of there. Saka is known for wrecking lives. He breaks up sake bottle and ends up selling the girls to pay back. Same thing happened to one of my friends. Damn it. Alright. We have proof. Come on, it's almost time for equal shift in. Let's wait for her in front of the shop. What do you want? My, 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 somebody's snippy. Hey. Iko, your boyfriend is infamous around here for tricking girls in the depth, then forcing them to sell themselves. Moreover, he's probably gonna do it in conjunction with a criminal gang. You need to get out of there. You seriously came all the way here to tell me that. <sighs> get out of my way, Makoto. I've had enough of your lying bullshit. Oh, she's really snippy today. I have testimony from one of the promoters in the area. You're not the first girl Tsukasa has lied, lied to about. A broken sake bottle? He doesn't ask for much at first, but the interest piles up. Eventually he'll ask you to sell your body for money. Yeah, have you out there turning tricks? Please, reconsider this relationship. Shut up. I already have a date planned with him for today. We're gonna stop by his club. What, so you can... Start turning tricks? Stay out of my way. Told you, Makoto. Can't turn a hole into a housewife. Yo, did I make you wait, babe? I came a little late after seeing your text, but I guess you're already here. Hey, uh, I know you guys. Wanna hop over to my club with us? It's gonna be a total blast. You were saying some bad stuff about, excuse me, they were saying some bad stuff about you, honey. Like how you get girls in the debt and then force them to sell themselves? They're lying to me, right? Huh? You believe that crap? Listen to me. Nothing like that's happened here. I never lie to you, princess. Do you even know her name, bro? Hmm. It's always princess with you. Why don't you ever call her by a real name, Sukasa? Or are there too many princesses in your life to remember? Say what? Casa? <laughs> what are you freaking out for? You just texted me, remember? I can never forget you, Makoto. Wow, man. You're messing up, man. You're messing up the pimp game. Your player card is revoked. I see. I knew it. I'm the one who texted you. I'll be five minutes late today. BB. I even added tons of emojis at the end to make sure it seemed like Eco. Oh, Makoto, you sneaky little. Admit it. Every girl you get money from is your princess, right? You can't even remember names anymore. Don't you see, Eko? This is the one who your boyfriend really is. But, but, you tricked him. Wasn't that hard. He's kind of an idiot. What would you know about love, huh? All I... Takasu, or what's, it, what, what, what's this dude's name? Sukasa's all I have. Just leave me alone, bitch. Wow. You got her good. Do it again. What? <sighs> Wake up. You already know the truth. You just don't want to believe it. Stop lying to yourself. But Tsukasa's the only one who cares about me. I highly doubt that's true. Get yourself a steam up, my girl. Nobody else asked me about my day or how work is going. If I wasn't already in a relationship and you weren't such an idiot, you might have a chance. Nobody else treats me like I'm special. No, there's no doubt about it. You are definitely special, just not in a good way. perfect girl who lives up to everyone's expectations could never know how I feel. 
Stop trying to feed me your honor student bullshit. This has nothing to do with being an honor student. I just can't rest knowing there's such evil in the world. And I damn sure won't keep quiet when my friend has her life ruined. <laughs> As for you, I apologize to Eco. Stay away from her from now on. Huh? You're really starting to annoy me with this shit, you bitch. You gonna watch your mouth, homeboy. Don't think I'll go easy on you because you're a chick. I'm gonna teach you a lesson you won't forget. I dare you. The fight's with me. What? What was that, you bastard? Hey, come on. There ain't nothing but space and opportunity between here, bro. Let's go. What's up? What you got? come from a long line of police officers, but she and I, if you really want to start something, be my guest. I don't know about you, but I'm personally allergic to bars, you know. I itch when I start thinking about it, but hey, to each his own. What? Damn it. I remember this. Write it down. Take a picture. I don't give a fuck. Get out of here. He wasn't so tough after all. This sucks. Yeah, that's what you were about to do if you kept sticking with that dude. You about, you were gonna do a lot of that too. Eco. Whoa, did you see that? Was that girl fighting with the host? Mind your business. They were really going at it. People notice what happened? I mean, you slapped the shit out of her like right in front of everybody, so yeah, people are gonna notice. Follow me. You're right. Right. Staying here now is only going to cause us more trouble. You coming or what? Hmm. I can't believe I actually hit one of my friends. Oh yeah, you got her good. You really smacked her. I honestly they expect it to connect so well have you noticed how you beat up those shadows of course it's gonna connect I'm surprised you didn't hit her with a two piece of the biscuit and finish it off with a stomp but I needed a way to wake her up to the reality of the situation you know I have a bad habit of acting in the moment I can't help but get swept up in emotion that's why I always have to take extra care to keep myself composed my father was the same way. That's not the proper way to act, though. There's no telling what would have happened if I hadn't stepped in. Um. I know what would have happened. She would have been right on the corner, right outside of this red light district. Out there turning tricks. That aside, this place is interesting. How did you ever find somewhere like this? You know so much. Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to, baby. Uh, let's go with it. It's a popular meeting spot. Yeah, lots of people. Interesting people. Is it really? <laughs> I imagine you've counted a great many of people here. You have no idea. Some of those people probably lead lives I've never even dreamed of. Honestly, spending time with you is getting to know Eco has given me a great deal to think about. There's so much I miss by living in your... So, I'm sorry. There's so much you can miss by living with your head buried between the pages of a book. I thought I knew the whole world and how it worked. But the more I spent time with you guys, the more I realized how neat, naive I was. What? I see now that there are some things I need other people to teach me. Do you remember how Eco said I would flunk a, flunk a test about love? Um, well, I don't know how to study that subject. What should I do, Harm? All right. <sighs> I can't learn about romance by myself. Time to turn on the pimp juice. I'll be your study partner. Huh? Uh, um. um, I'm not exactly the most well-versed in these matters. So allow me to confirm this. Okay, I'm listening. S sorry if I'm mistaken, but um, um. Do you like me? I do. Oh. Um, you really mean it, right? 
I don't think I stuttered. Well then, you see, if I'm, if it's all right with you, let's start dating for real. This is so embarrassing. You just slapped the crap out of one of your best friends in front of the whole red light district. Couldn't get too much more embarrassing. <laughs> I'm looking forward to um, growing our relationship, um, together. All right. You kids done with your little heart to heart yet? That's how I assume she's talked. She's a very healthy looking woman. Sure, sure about that. It's rude of us to stay here so long after only ordering tea. Oh, don't worry. It's just a glimpse into the fresh drama of yours. It's the only apology I need. It's like a nice spritz of lemon in the air. Just makes me think back to when I was a wee girl. Uh, don't take this personal, but it's hard to believe that you were ever a wee girl. Uh, you look like you was probably about a buck eighty when you were born. Well, um... R right. Well, we should get going. All right, then. Thank you again for today. I'll see you later. Okay, ladies and gents. So that's part one for Makoto's Romance. This is your boy, Game is Paradise. Taking off. Work hard. Take it easy. But don't work too hard. Peace.